We've previously discussed the solutions of homogeneous linear systems like this, ax equals zero, links in the description to those lessons. But now that we understand how to find the inverse of a matrix, we can solve more general systems like this, non-homogeneous systems like ax equals b, and it's really easy. If A is an invertible n by n matrix, which means we're going to have n equations and n unknowns, then for every n by 1 matrix B, that would just be a column vector with n rows, the system AX equals B has exactly one solution, and that solution is A inverse times the column vector B. Before we do a couple examples solving a non-homogeneous linear system like this, we can very quickly prove that this is true. First, let's prove that X equals A inverse B is a solution. We can see that obviously it is because if we plug in A inverse B to AX equals B, well, A and A inverse cancel out and that just leaves B equals B. So clearly we have a solution. We can of course choose to do A times A inverse first because matrix multiplication is dissociative. Now, the converse would be to assume that we have a solution of the system, say x0, so ax0 equals b, and we need to prove that x0 equals what we're claiming is the one solution to such a system. This is also straightforward. Starting from this equation, multiply both sides on the left by a inverse. We know that a inverse exists because this is a statement about invertible matrices. Now, if we multiply both sides on the left by A inverse, we again compare A inverse with A, they cancel out, and we're left with X0 equals A inverse B. So yes, if we have a solution, it's got to be A inverse B, and A inverse B is a solution. So there's exactly one solution to such a system, and that's what it looks like, as long as our matrix A is invertible. Here is an example. We have a system of equations consisting of three equations and three variables. We can of course represent the coefficient matrix like this, A equals, here are the coefficients. And this is the column vector B with the constants from the right side, 7, 4, and 1. Now we know if A is invertible, this is very easy to solve. We just multiply A inverse by B. And in fact, we do know that A is invertible. We've found the inverse of this exact matrix in a previous lesson on finding inverses. I'll leave a link in the description to that video. Here's a quick look at the process for finding that inverse matrix. You see it here, and that's what we can use to solve our system of equations. Since we know this is A inverse, we can solve the system of equations by simply multiplying A inverse by the column vector containing the constants B. Now doing this multiplication gets us here. We would have 4, negative 5, negative 2 matched up with 7, 4, and 1. That produces 6, and so on. 5, negative 6, negative 2, 7, 4, 1. That produces 9. And in the end, we get that x1 equals 6, x2 equals 9, and x3 equals negative 17. That is the one unique solution to this system of equations. All we had to do to find it was take the coefficient matrix, find its inverse, and multiply it by that constant column vector. Here is one more example. Again, we have three equations in three unknowns. We begin by writing the coefficient matrix, which is here. The constant column vector B is 5, negative 1, 2. And now we can solve this system of linear equations as long as we can find A inverse and then do some matrix multiplication. A is indeed invertible, and this is its inverse, which you could figure out in our usual way. Here's a quick look at that process of finding the inverse of this matrix, and here that inverse is, which we will use to solve the system. The inverse matrix is pretty ugly with all of these fractions, but once we do the multiplication, 
taking a inverse and multiplying it by our constant column vector, everything works out pretty nice. We end up getting 2, 1, and 0. So the unique solution to this system of equations is x1 equals 2, x2 equals 1, and x3 equals 0. All you have to do is take the coefficient matrix, find its inverse, and multiply that by the constant column vector. And that's how you solve a system of linear equations using an inverse matrix. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan. I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need